Aloha Leo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for February 2021. This is for Leo sun, moon, and rising signs. Please do check out your moon and rising signs. That's going to give you a more um, full picture of what the energies are for you for the month. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. Thank you for those of you who have left me comments. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand. Those that have donated, thank you so much for that. That allows me to get some new tarot cards for the channel. And if you would like a private reading with me personally, please do go to my website, www.thewhisperingdragonfly.com. There you can book a private reading, energy alignment session, or purchase my jewelry Hello, there. Hello Leo, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for um, February 2021. So this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. So please do check out your Moon and Rising Signs to get an overall picture of what your month is going to be like okay um please remember this is a general reading so it may not resonate for everyone i do read intuitively um so as the stories come up that spirit's showing me um it may resonate with you more fully and if it doesn't that's okay all right it really is and you can always change your trajectory so i believe that um, we create our own realities. So this is just the energy trajectory right now. Um, if you continue on this path, you can always change it to whichever way you want. Okay. All right. So let's get started. We have gateway and how gateway showed up was like that, which is in reverse. Okay. So we have gateway reverse. And we have Commander Ashtar, which is a call to action. So take charge, lead by example, walk your talk. So when we're at the gateway, the gateway is really transitioning you into um, from one dimension or octave reality to the next. Okay. So as we're moving up in frequency, as we're changing, growing, expanding, we're always standing at a gateway of sorts at different times, okay? This one being reversed is asking you to reflect. Reflect on your life. See where you could make changes and, and tweak things in such a way that um, the vibration works better for you. This um, call to action is really asking you to step up into your leadership position, not of anybody else, of yourself to take accountability for yourself, to take accountability for who and what you are, what your vibration is, what you bring to the table. Okay, so you're really being called to step up into your accountability and responsibility for yourself, Leo. Okay, this is not about you commanding and leading anybody else at this, this part, this gateway being reversed saying, that door will open for you, but reflection um, is needed at this time, okay? So as you're moving into action, what they're saying is there's a change that's occurring before you can step through this gateway, before you can step through this next portal of your life, your next um, journey or chapter, if you will, there's some action steps to take, some, um, some changes to be made to become responsible for yourself, how you feel, what your energy that you emit to the world is um, before stepping through this gateway because um, I do feel like you will be moving into a leadership position um, in some form or fashion moving forward. Okay, so we have 22 yin yang but in the reverse. So reverse says this card reversed reveals a yang cycle, which is one of active, outgoing energy. This time calls for a more logical approach to things, but the logic needs to be applied to purposeful action. This cycle is often marked by creativity and new beginnings, sometimes with significant outer change. Let yourself apply more forceful energy to the task at hand 
and take advantage of this highly charged yang time. Okay, so this is, again, take charge, lead by example, have the action. Okay, so this gateway I feel like is going to really open for you. Um, it's just time to get into action. And once you do, I feel like that flips and the door opens. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, huh. Hope sees the right deck here. So we have the card Y that came up next. It says motives, driving intention, the power of knowing the why. Okay, so um, I feel like before you go through this gateway in this new new part of your life, I feel like there's a passion that is building within you, Leo. And it's kind of like um, I've seen some fitness coaches and things say, know your why. Okay, some um, businesses too. It's like... Um, knowing the why they do something makes it easier for the business portion to come forward right and so as you're moving into these new um octaves and experiences of yourself these new um i'm gonna say age because we've moved into the age of aquarius and so it's like um that song's going on in my head. So I feel like you guys are really swiftly changing. And as you're moving into these new facets of yourself, um, they're really asking you to know your why and also to um, to apply that. Sorry, I was waiting for the <laughs> word to come through. Oh, Penny Girl. She's always helping me. Yeah. Because I feel like you guys have been in um, pretty significant change for a time now. And it's all been for you to be able to move into action. Okay. Yeah. Some of you really may be starting your own business or coaching. Because the overall outcome is King of Pentacles, which is the entrepreneur card. So you might have someone come in who's an entrepreneur or businessman. Um, the King of Pentacles says that you're at mastery of values and currency. Okay, so your theme in the month of February, Leo, is really asking those questions of why. What do you value? There's a meta program that's happening of what do you value? Okay, because in the past we have Page of Wands and the Eight of Cups reversed. I feel like um, you had a hard time letting go of something. Uh, there had been some like miscommunication that's happened. This could ha have happened at a job. Um, uh, but it's like you've needed to walk away from something that you love in order to make room. Um, and I do feel like this is coming forward as more work related. Um, but there's been a delay or there's been a miscommunication of sorts that's happened with this dream job or the job that you love. It's been like um, something that's been hard for you to walk away from, but there's a, um, a change that's taking place. But I, I feel like you know that you need to walk away either from the job or from an aspect of the job or you've had, there's been a delay that's happened. Um, but that's all moving forward now, okay? So that's, um, we have six of swords. Um, so you're moving away from kind of the negative thoughts and the thought programs that created that delay because you also have chariots. So you have the victory and quick forward movement. Um, so you'll really be moving through this gateway as soon as you get into action. And it's that focus action of, of, why are you doing a certain thing? Why are you being a certain way? Why are you in relationship with, with someone? Um, once you know your why, things can move forward really quickly. And they're emphasizing the victory. Okay, so I feel like there's a victory and a healing that's taking place with you right now. We have King of Cups and we have the Moon in Reverse. 
So I feel like there's an illumination that is happening uh, around what you love, what you desire. For some of you, this may be in a relationship. Um, uh, some of you may be considering moving to the next level with your uh, love and romance partner or moving to the next level in business, but you're considering the emotional quotient that goes with it. Uh, you're being illuminated to your why, what it is that that you're doing, why you're doing it. Um, can I have a clarifier there, please, for King of Cups in the Moon? Yeah. Oh, perfect. So we have Five of Swords. I feel like there's, like, with a specific relationship, there's been a lot of overthinking that's happened. Um, almost, like, too much of the community. Yeah, so we've got Seven of Cups. It's almost like um, there's been varying advice that has happened, and you've had, like, way too many choices, okay? Um, or just trying to figure out who's who's solid and who's not, both for your um, relationship quotient, but also for your workplace. I feel like for a while um, there's been a project or some sort of uh, something that you've wanted to make happen, Leo, um, in the, the business world, but I feel like it mixes business, your heart's desire, spirit all together. Um, and there's been too many people's opinions that's kind of clouded your judgment. So as you're getting back to the why, we have Eight of Pentacles Spirit saying um, they're acknowledging your work, that you're working on it, you're healing, your, um, the efforts that you're making is going to provide a victory because we've got that chariot there. Something I thought just flipped over. Um, yeah, so Leo, it all looks very, very good. I feel like you're just going to the next level and there's some action steps to take to get to that next level. You got the entrepreneur card. Um, those of you that are single, you might have a couple of options with these two kings. One that's maybe a little more watery and yeah, one that is um, more business minded. Okay, uh, the king of pentacles is going to be long term potential. So you do have that coming forward. Because we've got Page of Cups. So someone does want to, to offer you, but you are considering. We have Seven of Wands. You're considering which one, which person or business or desire of your heart can penetrate the boundary without, um, without messing up your bubble, without messing up your peace. Notice these other wands. She's kind of sitting on top of them, but there's this one wand that is able to to get in okay yeah and there's a judgment and a balancing that's happening there um, on your behalf the one that you'll choose if this is love romance will be the one that really sets your spirit free where you feel like you can be yourself um, yeah and that you guys will embark on a journey together so some of you this might be someone that you um, travel with or you're building like um a community but there's like a, there's an unknown kind of factor um that's very exciting that's opening up for you and then um the next step here is the ten of cups so your bottom of the deck is ten of cups which is happy heart happy home um money's good you know every everything's good with that so there's a lot of happiness that's occurring and um Leo, that looks really good. So you just have some action steps to do um, to open yourself up, to remember your why. This is a young time, so instead of sitting back, this is about you putting in those action steps. Um, you are guided in that, and you're just um, kind of making sure that everything fits together before you move through that gateway because the door is about to open for you on that gateway and uh, they're just asking you to do the action steps to prepare you for your next journey on your life cycle here okay so really exciting leo it looks very very good um, the outcome is happy life happy heart happy family okay so um, 
we look forward to the Ten of Cups being the outcome card, okay? That's like uh, wishes fulfilled too. So thank you guys so much. Um, that's what I have for you for February. And until next time, aloha.